What's up, man? Players, man. Talk 24-7 here with a ranked match. He's the Bucks. I'm the Titans. The reason I'm the Titans is because I had the Seahawks and he wouldn't ready up when it was Bucks Seahawks. So we met up again and I picked the Titans. And I would tell you, just look at that, man. That is why I will never choose the Titans again. They just cannot tackle at all. And their run defense, I mean, they take terrible angles. They can't tackle. I promise you this will be the last video you see of me picking the Titans. The fast people on their team cannot tackle. And the slow people on their team aren't fast enough to make a tackle. So it makes it really, really tough to stop the run. But, you know, this game, I will not lie to you. All he did this game was just run all over me. That is all he did. And my offense, you know, it was kind of struggling this game. But I would tell you, man, um, all he did was just run all over me. And I could not stop it at all. And it was very, very frustrating because I knew he was going to run the ball. But I still could not stop it no matter what defense I chose. No matter what, I just could not stop this guy from running the ball. And it was really, really hard. After the game, he asked, he actually sent me a message talking about to get some run D. So then we were in the party, and he was just talking trash like that too. I told him, though, I will upload the game. I have no shame. I'm not like some of those YouTube guys that lose games. You know, how they, how they accidentally lose a game off their computer or a file gets lost or some BS excuse like that. And I'm not one of those guys that only upload, you know, like close losses and just wins. If I'm uploading games and it's, and it just win after win after win. I mean, chances are I'm on a hot streak. If I lose and the game's being recorded, I mean, you can bet that the game will be uploaded. I am not one of those people that do not upload, um, that only uploads wins. I upload wins, losses, blowouts, ties. It doesn't really matter to me. You know, I'm not, I'm not like that. But just look at that pass interference. That's just how the game has been. That ball, I don't even know how that was pass interference, but nonetheless, this guy still scores to make it 14-7. And I will just warn you, this game, it gets really, really nasty. So you might want to turn this off because this game, it only gets nastier. I mean... The way this game going, yes, all he does is just run, run, run. And that's why it really hits me when folks complain about all I do is play Faggy. I'm thinking if all I play is Faggy, you can just run the ball on me. I mean, you can run draws. You can just run. I mean, this game really shows what I struggle against. But I also blame half of this game on the Titans, every game I use them, um, my opponent just runs all over me. I've used them about three times. And just excuse that pass right there from Jake Locker. That dude literally threw it straight to him. I'm not sure what he's doing. But even before halftime, this guy is still running the ball. I think he only passed the ball six times. And the only time he would pass would be a curl to that or a makeshift screen pass. He really had no passing game. But I won't knock him because he didn't have to pass. So I will not knock his lack of passing game. Because he really did not have to pass the ball this game. I mean, if the run keeps working, keep on running. That is a smart game plan on his part. And right there, I should have just kept it to the left. But I, I just ran right. And really did not make a smart move on that play right there. And this guy, his defense is very, very good. You know, I'm really just struggling to score against him. He plays fag D. And it was really, really tough to score against him just because, you know, um, he had most of my reads covered. And then sometimes he would come with a blitz. 
So he had a really good game plan. It was very, very tough to guard. But here I am able to score to make it 21-14. And I'm thinking as long as I can stop this guy from just running the ball, run, 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 then I would be set. But no dice. The first play, oh my goodness, this is just painful to watch. 73-yard touchdown just right off the bat. All he's doing is counters, power O, draws. I just cannot stop this guy at all. And he just runs all over me. I think he ends up with about 400 yards rushing. I mean, this guy, he just literally just ran the ball every single play. And it was very, very painful how I just could not stop this guy at all. But as I said, you know, I really have no shame uploading these games i mean we all get blown out which i'm not sure why these guys on youtube act like they don't get blown out because everybody gets blown out so i don't understand why you see so few people upload these types of games i mean it's no shame on it you know i'm still 52 and 5 you know i mean i'm still good so it doesn't really make sense to me why people are so hesitant to not upload these types of games. But this guy, he was really, really cool about it, you know. Um, at first he thought that I would not upload this game because it was a blowout. He probably said you weren't recording or you won't, or you won't post it or just something like that. But as I told him, you know, it's no shame. You played great. I played bad. And this game will still be uploaded on YouTube. And right there, that was just a great strategy by him. He blitzed. And I think he shaded uh, Errol Barron. I believe that's his name. Inside. And then completely just out coached me. That was a great call by him. And this game only gets nastier, so if you want to keep watching, the game only gets nastier. But um, let me let me just um, talk about the NBA playoffs real quick. Man, the Warriors, I really thought that the Spurs were about to beat them last game. They came back. Jared Jack, that dude, wait, well, I'm sorry. Mariani, Mary, uh, Marion, I'm not even sure that guy's name, but that dude, that is when I completely lost it this game and just got super, super mad because he dropped two wide open streaks. I only placed him there because he was fast. I mean, I don't expect somebody's hands to be that bad. I mean, that was two wide open passes to him and the game was still in reach somewhat and right there the game just completely got out of reach I mean right now I'm just playing just to play and then he starts to mix in an edge rush from the user but I'm not worried about that because that means he had no user on the field but it doesn't matter because the ball just hit me in my chest right there. I'm not even sure what he was doing. I did think I would have to user it because, I mean, it's a wide open pass. But nonetheless, I still score and I kick the onside. No dice. I don't get it. And at this point, I the game's pretty much over at this point. I'm still like, trying to stop him. But as you see, we still cannot tackle. But... As I was saying, man, like Jerry Jack, that dude went off in that fourth quarter and was unstoppable. But do not sleep on Andrew Bogut. Andrew Bogut, he played really, really good and completely locked up Tim Duncan, which I did not see coming. I think he had 18 boards also. I mean, Tim Duncan, that dude dominated. It was really, really, I mean... I mean, Andrew Bogut, that dude completely dominated Tim Duncan. And at this point, it is 63-28. I finally concede. I pause the game and just quit because this game is just too nasty for YouTube. I mean, I got destroyed, but, you know, uh, I have little wins, losses, and ties. So, um, that's the ball game. Thanks for watching. I lost 14 points and look forward for more gameplays in the future.